the answer needs to be in the form of percentage. Now AD upon DB is 5 upon 12. If this is 5, this entire thing is 12. It's a rectangle. So 5, 12, this would be, you don't have to actually find out the value. The point is this would be square root of 12 square minus 5 square. Whatever that number is, don't worry about finding that out. The point is that you will get a unique value. But the value of this part is not known. If EF were equal to uh, 7, you will have a different answer. If, if EF were equal to uh, 3, that would be a different answer. So I need to know the value of EF as a proportion of DB. Until that, this cannot be solved. 1 is not going to be sufficient. Come to statement 2. Let's remove this. Come to statement 2. This was not sufficient. EF is to DB is 1 is to 3. EF is to DB is 1 is to 3. Now come to think of it, the area of, let's just draw this bigger triangle once again. I'm just tilting this part. You have D here, you have A here, and you have B here, and you have E and F somewhere here. E, F. Statement 2 says that this part, if E, F is 1, D, B is 3, right? Come to the area of the two triangles. For triangle A, D, B, the area is half into the height, whatever that is, into height, into the entire base, which is going to be something like 3K. For the smaller triangle A, C, F, see the area is going to be half. The height is still the same. Height remains H only. It's the base which is which is changed. If DB the base is 3K, for EF the base is K, right? And therefore the ratio is 3 is to 1. H would get cancelled, half would get get cancelled, Ks would get cancelled. The ratio would turn out to be 3 upon 1. The and and therefore the percentage of the shaded part would be 1 out of 4. It would be 25%. So I can get to the answer 25% using statement 2 alone. The answer is option B.